Okay, hi, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace, and on this channel I, I talk about faith, culture, and media awareness. And if you haven't clicked subscribe, please do click sub subscribe. It helps me out a lot in terms of basically saving me a lot of time. So, plus you get the video uploads immediately. Um, if you haven't heard, I have a new book called Breaking New Ground, Discipleship Using New Media. And it's really about how to evangelize in a digital age. So this is kind of a how-to. Um, and it's for anybody that has that has that is interested in evangelization. That's really what the topic is about. And you don't have to have any tech knowledge. And this is helpful. So anyway, I hope you get that book. You can get it on Amazon. And I will also have a link below where you can click and it will go directly to Amazon to get the book. Okay, so today's topic is actually going to be digital decluttering. I kind of, uh, I thought about doing this topic because I recently had to um, add memory to my hard drive. I do a lot of video production and I've got a pretty big hard drive but I needed to add a couple more terabytes to it and um, in that process I realized how much digital clutter that I had and how digital clutter really kind of gets in the way of our spirituality. So this is going to be five tips to help you digital, digitally declutter and this is actually just a really practical thing to, to do um, really on a weekly basis or frequently. Okay, the first area the first topic is unsubscribe. Okay, now I asked you to, to subscribe. Don't unsubscribe from my channel. But you really need to look at your email and, and all the things that you are subscribed to, predominantly through email and also um, on YouTube. Because your email just gets filled. I mean, I, I go to Michael's, I, I have like, I get promos from pretty much every place I shop, and I really don't need all that. I don't even shop that much really, and I don't really need those coupons. So the best way to do, the best thing to do to digital declutter is to go into your email, I'd say once a week, or at least once a month, and just unsubscribe to all the things that do not add to your life. Newsletters, pretty much um, promotional uh, pushes from retailers is the big area that I had to declutter out of or, or unsubscribe. But really even some YouTube channels that maybe you subscribe to them uh, at a different time when maybe you were doing a home project or something like that. But I would just unsubscribe to everything that is not really contributing to your quality of life and, and in particularly your spiritual life. So that's number one, unsubscribe. Number two, do a weekly or monthly data transfer. I do this weekly because I have um, a lot of pictures and downloads. Those are the two areas both on my phone and on my um, desktop and my laptop. I download a ton of things when I'm working, whether it's Catholic Radio, whether I'm doing video product uh, projects, but I download a lot and um, I'm constantly taking a lot of pictures and just even personal pictures and then I have a bunch of pictures that were just mistake pictures that I accidentally took a picture in my of something when my phone was in my pocket. So do a weekly or a monthly. I would suggest a weekly, but you may not may only need to do it monthly. Um, a weekly or monthly data transfer. So you just transfer all your data to your backup unit or delete it. And then that's the third one, a weekly delete. So delete the downloads, back up the downloads, uh, delete the unnecessary pictures. Um, so do a weekly delete too. 
So you can do a data transfer or a weekly delete. And number four of decluttering is to have, this is a digital declutter, have digital free zones in your house and digital free time. So during meal time, that is a digital free time. That's a way to digitally declutter and that you can have a conversation during dinner. Um, you know, have everybody put their phone over on a table or have them put it in a basket or something like that. And I would even have digital free days like on a Sunday or um, on vacations. Let's say you go away for the weekend. Make a pact with your family to not use any digital media during that vacation time, whether it's the weekend or maybe just a day trip. And another place to digitally um, declutter or have digital free zones is in the car. You're riding in the car as a family, you're going somewhere, you're riding in the car with your spouse. Turn off the phone and you know interact with each other. I mean, I always find car rides kind of a great time to have those relationships and um, talk. And then the fifth thing um, to digitally declutter is to, to back up every week. Um, once you back things up on your um, things that you really need, then you can delete things off of your hard drive um, or you go ahead and delete before you back up, then you're just backing up what you really want. But I would definitely be backing up every week. Uh, my computer is set up to back up weekly. Some people do manual backups in addition to autom automated backups. But these are five ways to kind of digitally declutter. And when you declutter in your physical space, in your digital world, or even in your spiritual life, and I've done um, videos on all those three topics, and I'll put the links for, to those below. But decluttering in any of these realms really allows you more space to um, have time with the, your loved ones and have time with God. So really spiritually decluttering um, and digitally decluttering and physically, your physical space decluttering, that really allows you to spend your time with the people you love and spend your time with God. So that's, um, that's what I have today on Digitally Declutter. If you haven't gotten my book, um, go to Amazon and get it there. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. God bless.